Hello everyone, welcome to Anti Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to work on how to crochet a basic cluster stitch with double crochets. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. So I have this book here, and this book is called A to Z Crochet. It's for it's from easy to beginner, and we're going to work on this uh on some clusters it's a basic cluster stitch with a double crochet each cluster has is made up of three double crochet stitches so in this book there is no foundation chain it doesn't tell you what how many stitches to make so i went ahead and went up with made up my own pattern and we're going to start with a chain of 33 plus 4 and we'll have 37 chains so this is what that stitch looks like. It is a bunch of clustered double crochets going across. I'm just showing you the book here. But at the end, this is what your project will look like. So let's go ahead and get started. So I just have a simple five category yarn and a 4.5 millimeter hook. I'm going to go ahead and start making my chains. As I said, we're going to make a chain of 33 and add four more stitches. This is a multiple of three plus four. So when I'm done, I will have 37 stitches. I wrote that down wrong here. I have 34. It's actually 37. So I'm going to start making this chain and I'll be right back. So I have my 37 chains here. And we're going to begin. So the next step in this process is we're going to go ahead and skip three chains. Now, if you want to, you can put a row of double crochets or single crochets first. If you want, that is optional. But I'm just going to go right in and skip three chains and start crocheting. So count out your chains from the first hook. You're going to skip the first three chains from the first hook. One, two, three, and then insert your hook into the fourth chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. On our paper, it says yarn over, go into the first stitch, and then pull up a loop. So we're going to pull up a loop. We're going to yarn over and skip two. Yarn over and go through only two stitches on your hook. That's going to leave you with two loops on your hook. I mean, I said stitches, but I meant loops. So then yarn over again. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Then you're going to yarn over again. And pull through two only. Then yarn over for the last time going into the next stitch. This is your final stitch for this cluster. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit more. Yarn over. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you have five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over again, and pull through all four of your loops, and then chain two. I'm going to have this book linked in the description box. I think I got it from Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> I got it from Instagram. Not Instagram. Goodness gracious. Amazon for about 14 bucks. So now we're going to move on. We chain two. We're going to go ahead and insert our hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two only. Yarn over again. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over again, pull through two, only two loops. You'll have three on your hook. Yarn over again for the last time. Go into this last stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through all four loops. And then chain two. 
and you're going to repeat this all the way across until you have your stitches. I'm going to do another one on camera here. Go into your next stitch. Yarn over, pull up loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Again, go into your next loop. Yarn over, go into the next loop, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through all four loops and chain two. So you're going to do this all the way across until you get to the end of your row. And when I come back, I'll be right before that last stitch, right before we make our last double crochet. Okay, so I'm back. And I'm on the last cluster. I'm just chaining two here. We're actually at the end of the row. So you're just going to put a double crochet in that last stitch there. Chain three and turn your work. So we're going into the next row. Right here I'm showing where we turn chain three and turn. So now we're going to make our first cluster. And you want to put your first cluster into your into the stitch after this first cluster here let me show you so you're going to yarn over chain remember have your chain three yarn over skip that first cluster and go right into that space next to that first cluster you're going to yarn over go into your loop and pull through two go back into that same loop again pull through two Yarn over again for the last time. Yarn over, pull through two stitches. Yarn over, pull through the last four. And chain two. So we're just basically now going into those spaces in between each cluster with these uh, three double crochet clusters. And just keep doing this all the way across until you get to the end. I'm going to do one more on the camera here. Yarn over. Go into your next space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And just keep doing this for your three clusters. At your last cluster, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four of your loops, and chain two. And just make your way all the way down to the end. When I come back, I will be at the cluster before the last cluster. Okay, so we are back. Now we're going into the end of round two. I'm going to chain two, and then I'm immediately going to go right into the um, into the next stitch, into this last stitch here. We're gonna put it in the second chain from the three chains that we made in the previous row. And that's the last stitch. This is a stitch that goes on top of the previous double crochet. Actually, it's in the second stitch. So when you make this double crochet, you go into the second stitch. So we're going to chain three and turn our work. Now we're going into the third row. Your first row of clusters should be about 11 clusters. Then your second row should be 10. Your third row should be 11 clusters. So it's going to alternate between 10 and 11. You're just, just going to repeat rows two and three. So now we're going into row three. We're going to yarn over. We've made our three chains. We're going to yarn over and go into that very first space with our very first group of clusters, our double crochet clusters. So make your clusters into this first stitch. Chain two. And then move on into the next cluster and just do this all the way across again we're now following the pattern for row three and i will have this pattern in the description box so i'm going into the next stitch with my clusters of double crochets and this is a really quick workup pattern as you can see it's very easy all you need to know is some double crochets and you'll get right through it so I'm gonna keep going and make my way down to the end and I will meet you there when I get there okay so now we are at the end and I have my 
uh, double crochet cluster here I'm gonna go and make my final cluster in this last chain here make your three three double crochet clusters in here and then when you're done you're not going to chain at all you're just gonna go right into that stitch from the previous row I'm just sliding my stitches over so that I can go into that second stitch of the three chain from the previous row and that's going to give us our next side our next end so now all you have to do is just keep going back and forth alternating between row two and three and again I will put this pattern in the description box below so that's pretty much it going to end it for our tutorial on this basic three double show crochet a cluster stitch uh, join me for our next tutorial and I will be working on working on our bag as we speak so the next time I see you it'll be ready so thanks for watching have a great day bye bye